The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Deerfield Beach High takes on Cypress Bay High tonight on School Duel. School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. And the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check, courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now as you see, this second round game matches Deerfield Beach High versus Cypress Bay High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. <laughs> and one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the Chick-fil-A challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Let's go ahead and get started. Our opening round is called the first strike. Here it's school versus school and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, hands on the buzzers and let's prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with Japanese. Often associated with Japanese culture, name this art of paper folding. Yes, Steven? Origami. Very good. Next question is starting with E. What word starting with E is a complete or partial blocking of light passing from one heavenly body to another? Steven? Eclipse. Very good. Next question is spelling. Give the correct spelling of the word palette in the sentence, please. Yes, Nicholas? P-A-L-A-T-E. Incorrect. Deerfield, the question says, give the correct spelling of the word pallet in the sentence, please unload the pallet of boxes. Lee. P-A-L-L-E-T. Very good. All right, let's move on to rap. His most recent album begins with a little girl saying, we don't want no devils in this house. Yes, Martin. Kanye West. Very good. Let's move along to water. What large body of water along the U.S. southern coast has a dead zone, partially created by sediment from the Mississippi River? Yes, Robin? The Gulf of Mexico. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, planets. Scientists now think the furrows on its sand dunes are caused by the main gas in its atmosphere when it becomes a solid. It has a Russell crater and a Matara crater. Name this red planet. Yes, Stephen? Mars. Very good. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Spears Bowling and Davey. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. The best players to appear in this stadium include Ted Williams and David Ortiz. Name this baseball stadium. Yes, Martin? Fenway Park. Very good. And here's a tidbit about Fenway Park. It has been the home of the Boston Red Sox since 1912 and is one of the most well-known sports venues in the world. All right, controversies. The CEO of Procter & Gamble says, we can't prevent intentional abuse fueled by poor judgment and the desire for popularity. Which was their response to the fad of eating pods containing what most? Yes, Lee? Tide. Yes, very good. <laughs> Moving along to medical conditions, recent studies have found a good reason to keep babies away from antibiotics. The drugs remove good bacteria from a baby's stomach. Lee? Vaccines. Incorrect. Cypress Bay, I'll finish the question. 
The drugs remove good bacteria from a baby's stomach, which may make them more likely to develop this breathing problem. Identify this condition that causes airways to become inflamed and is often treated with inhalers. Martin. Asthma. Very good. All right, let's move on to football. In football, what position is often seen as a hybrid position with the characteristics and roles of both an offensive lineman? Yes, Benjamin? Tight end. Very good. Oh, there's our horn, and that means the end of the first strike round. We do have a tie. Cypress Bay and Deerfield Beach both have 50 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back to School Duel. The first round of action ended with a tie between the two schools. They each have 50 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Sean, team captain, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Shreya, and I'm a senior, Buck Pride. Hi, I'm Lee, and I'm a senior, Buck Pride. Hi, I'm Steven, and I'm a senior, Buck Pride. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm a junior, Buck Pride. We're the Deerfield Beach Bucks, Bucks, and we're, we're ready, ready to play. play. Go, Go Bucks! Bucks. Go Bucks. Yeah. Woo! Deerfield Beach High, put your Bucks up. Woo! I'm Nicholas Goldner. I'm a senior. I'm also the captain for Cypress Bay. Go Lightning. Hi, I'm Benjamin Jones. I'm a senior at Cypress Bay High School, and go Lightning. Hi, I'm Robin Fins. I'm a senior at Cypress Bay. Go Lightning. Hey, my name is Martin Michelson. I'm a senior at Cypress Bay. Go Lightning. I'm Charles Roberts, a sophomore at Cypress Bay, and go Lightning. Martin. The boy That's Animalese. what I knew. That's what I knew. Animalese. Animalese. It just happened. I don't know how, but it did. It just worked like that. Who knows? Here we are. Yo. Doves only. Two -oh, Doves two -oh. only. Doves only. Let's keep Doves it up. Only. Lightning's about to strike. Go, Go lightning. lightning. All right, let's hear it for both schools. Let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust, and it's presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with toss-up questions. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions, of course, are worth 10 points. All right, schools, I know you've been waiting. It is time to joust. We will have Sean and Nicholas start us off. <laughs> All right, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In a recent movie, he is played by Chadwick Boseman as a defense lawyer in a case that occurred before Brown versus Board of Education. 
Name this lawyer appointed by Lyndon Johnson as the first black Supreme Court justice. Yes, Nicholas. Marshall. Very good. Yeah. All right, the following bonus questions all deal with Thurgood Marshall. Bonus question number one, Marshall was replaced on the court by this black conservative. Nicholas. Clarence Thomas. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. He got his law degree from this black college in Washington, D.C. Robin. Howard University. Yes, very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. For the two years before he joined the Supreme Court, Marshall held this position that argues the government's position before the Supreme Court. Nicholas. Attorney General. Incorrect. It's Solicitor General. All right, we're going to have Benjamin and Shreya come on down. <laughs> Here's your top of question worth 10 points. An exhibit in the International Spy Museum called Exquisitely Evil featured the bad guys in the 50 years of movies starring this British spy. Benjamin? James Bond. Yes, very good. <laughs> and we are back with Cypress Bay. The following bonus questions all deal with things now on display or recently seen at the International Spy Museum. Bonus question number one. The museum has at least one set of these metal objects that fits onto your hand and creates a more powerful punch. Benjamin. Uh, knuckle dusters. Incorrect, they're brass knuckles. Bonus question number two. In 2018, you can see the ax used to kill the communist Leon Trotsky on the orders of this Soviet dictator of the 1930s? Yes, Nicholas. Stalin. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. You can see an Enigma machine used by the Nazis to create what they thought was an unbreakable coding system that was decoded by this British computer scientist and his colleagues. Yes, Martin. Turing. Very good. All right, let's move on to Lee and Robin. Come on down, it is your turn to joust. And here's your top of questions worth 10 points. Published in 1960, name this classic of modern literature written by Harper Lee, dealing with, yes, Robin. To Kill a Mockingbird? Very good. All right, Cypress Bay, the following bonus questions all deal with naming these men in To Kill a Mockingbird. Bonus question number one. He has served as a moral hero for many readers and as a model of integrity for lawyers. Name this father and protagonist in To Kill a Mockingbird, Martin. Atticus Finch. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. Name the reclusive man that helped save Scott and Jem from Bob Ewell. Yes, Nicholas. Boo Radley. Very good. Here's your third bonus question. This sheriff tells Atticus that the father died by falling on his own knife. Name him. Ah, he was Sheriff Tate. All right, Martin and Steven, come on down. You're the last two to joust. Here's your top of question worth 10 points. What do you call a painting of an artist produced or created by that artist? Yes, Martin? Self-portrait. Very good, and again, we're back with Cypress Bay. The following bonus questions all deal with a studio art class. Bonus question number one. A name for a painting of a scene, like a forest or mountaintop. Benjamin. Landscape. Yes, very good. Here's your second bonus question. A name for a quick drawing of something to be improved on and filled in later. Robin. Sketch. Yes, very good. Bonus question number three, here you go. What phrase refers to shapes or forms not of geometric shape, having irregular edges, surfaces, or objects similar to natural forms? Martin? Abstract. Oh, we're looking for organic. All right, there's our buzzer. That means the end to the joust round. We now have Cypress Bay leading. They have 170 points. Deerfield Beach has 50 points, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. 
It's the same rascally smile. That hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing. But you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone. Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now today's game has Deerfield Beach High competing against Cypress Bay. Currently Cypress Bay is leading with 170 points. Deerfield Beach has 50 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. During this round each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since Deerfield Beach is trailing they get to go first. Today's category is starts with B. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter B. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Starts with B, Deerfield Beach. Here we go, cue music and let's begin. Capital of Romania? Belarus. First name shared by the science guy and former Florida Senator Nelson. Bill. Name this superhero born in Wakanda. Black Panther. Leisure sport with turkeys and max score of 300. Bowling. Administrative headquarters of Queen Elizabeth, two words. Buckingham Palace. Famed London Insane Asylum, now a term for complete craziness. Motel in the movie Psycho. Beach. Country that shares Lake Titicaca with Peru. Bolivia. Revolutionary war general famous for treason and his betrayal of the US. Benedict Arnold. The day after Christmas in Canada, two words. Boxing Day. Okay, very good, Deerfield Beach. Yeah. All right, now with a little TV magic, let's go ahead and bring in Cypress Bay High. All right, and here they are. Welcome back, Cypress Bay. Now it's your turn. Today's category is starts with B. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter B. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, 
You must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and begin. Capital of Romania. Bucharest. First name shared by the science guy and former Florida Senator. Bill. Name this superhero born in Wakanda. Black Panther. Leisure sport with turkeys and max score of 300. Bowling. Administrative headquarters of Queen Elizabeth, two words. Buckminster Palace. Famed London Insane Asylum, now a term for complete craziness. Bedlam. Motel in the movie Psycho. Bates. Country that shares Lake Titicaca with Peru. Bolivia. Revolutionary war general famous for treason and his betrayal of the US. Benedict Arnold. The day after Christmas in Canada, two words. Boxing day. Very good, all right, Yay! Cypress Bay. So that ends the rapid action round. Good job, Cypress Bay, good job, Deerfield. Now currently, Cypress Bay is still leading. They now have 260 points. Deerfield Beach has 130 points, but don't go anywhere because we are just going to take a short break and then we will be back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making the school duel possible. Cypress Bay is holding on to their lead over Deerfield Beach. Current score, 260 to 130. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the final showdown. This is our last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points each. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with characters. What E.B. White literary mouse is the son of two humans? Martin. Stuart Little. Spelling, defined as having or showing knowledge that is learned by studying, school dual players are quite erudite. Spell erudite. Robin. E-R-U-D-I-T-E. -E. NFL, Julio Jones and Matt Ryan are top, yes, Martin? Atlanta Falcons. Creatures. The Entomological Society of America specializes in studying what, Robin? Insects. Instruments. In the popular musical group, The Piano Guys, one guy plays the piano. The other guy plays what stringed instrument played by, yes, Stephen? The bass. Incorrect. Cypress Bay, what stringed instrument played by bowing or plucking? It's, yes, Robin? Cello. Shakespeare. Which Shakespeare plays characters include a Scottish king and several, yes, Martin? Macbeth. Terrorism. Richard Reed is serving three life sentences in Colorado for trying to blow up an airplane in 2001 with explosives in this article of clothing. Martin. Shoes. Multiple meanings. It can mean a percentage of a large amount of money to divide a deck of playing cards into two piles or, yes, Lee? Cut. 
Unions, North America's strongest and most diverse labor union, it started as a merger of the two leading team driver associations. Name this union led by James P. Hoffa. Robin. AFL, American Federation. Incorrect, Deerfield Beach. Shreya. The American Civil Liberties Union. Incorrect, they're called Teamsters. Punctuation. Tell which punctuation mark should generally be used at the end of an interjection. Yes, Steven. Exclamation point. Music. Basic ones used on a guitar often include C, F, and A. Name this, Steven. Chords. Planets. What planet has the great red spot? Nicholas. Jupiter. Physics. In physics, what unit is defined as one cycle per second? Nicholas. Hertz. Nickelodeon. Which TV comedy on Nickelodeon features the sibling superheroes, Phoebe and, yes, Steven? The Thundermans. Tennis. What tennis Grand Slam tournament is played on the clay courts of, yes, Martin? French Open. Sound. It's bad for your ears to hear any sound rated higher than, Martin? 120. Incorrect, Deerfield Beach. It's bad for your ears to hear any sound rated higher than about 85 of this unit. For a long, yes, Shreya? Decibels. States. What state joined the union in 1896 after a ban on plural marriage was written into, yes, Benjamin? Utah. Rap stars. Identify this rap singer who once had three tunes on the Billboard Top 20 at the same time. My Way, 679, and Trap Queen. Shreya. Betty Wap. Authors. Oh, that is the sound, and that sound brings an end to this second round school duel game. And Cypress Bay did a good job of continuing to hold on to their lead throughout the game. Now Cypress Bay is ending with a score of 480 points. Deerfield Beach, you did well as well. It's your ending with 250 points. Now, Cypress Bay, this win is going to put you into the quarterfinals. So congratulations. <laughs> and of course, great job to everyone. Now this brings us to an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, where's my drum roll? Martin from Cypress Bay. Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A sandwiches for an entire year. Now at this time, of course, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved, you can watch past shows, and even compete for prizes at home. And please remember to use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media, and most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m as Coral Springs High takes on Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High in another great second round match. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.